So you've just downloaded a program from the internet or from an email and Windows security has not detected any security threats with that file and you don't have a third party security program installed and you don't want to install one but yet you're still not sure if you trust this file. Well don't worry because in this video I will be showing you how you can check that file for any security threats without having to download any security software to your computer. So the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and open up your web browser. Now once you have your web browser open, you need to click in the address bar and you then need to type in virustotal.com and then press enter. This will then take you to a website that looks like this. So on my desktop at the moment I have a file here and it's called computersluggish.com and it simply says hello test. So what I'm going to do is run a scan on this file because Windows security hasn't detected any issues and like I said I don't want to install another security program to my computer just to check this one file. So what we can do is go to this website, we can then click on choose file or if you have not downloaded the file yet to your computer you can actually click on URL and you can then paste in the URL to the file. This will then scan that file before you even download the file and put your computer at risk. So I'm actually going to go back to file and go choose file and I'm then going to select computersluggish.com and go open. So you can now see it scan that file, it's used 55 different services to ensure that there are no threats within that file and you can see they have all come back with undetected. You can also see what services or security vendors it's used. You can see we've got AVG, we've got AVWare, we've got Bitdefender. There's many well-known names there. So you can see there are loads. So I now know that that file is completely safe. And at the top here, it's got no security vendors and no sandboxes flagged this file as malicious. It's then got the size on the right-hand side. If we then go to details, we can view a bit more information about the file. We can then also go to relations and then see a bit more information there as well. You can then also go to community and there's no comments for this file because it's never been scanned before. But if I was to use the R option and scan a file that is hosted somewhere on the internet, then it might actually have some comments and already have a community score. So another thing to note is on Fire's Total, under detection it can actually sometimes flag up a program or a file as an issue even though there isn't actually a problem it's not going to harm your computer for example if the file or the program has a link within it to a website or something that has ads then it could flag it up that it's got some adware or something like that so Basically, if it does detect an issue, look into what the issue is or the threat and see if it actually really is a threat and going to put your computer at harm. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish videos.